Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've saw, seen a few examples of joiner transformations where we implemented the inner join and the right outer join. Today we'll take a look at another you know, type of join which is called the left outer join. This type of join returns all rows from the left hand table specified in the on condition and only those rows from the other table where the join fields are equal. This is where the join condition is met. <clears throat> the syntax for the left outer join is select columns from table 1, left outer join table 2 on table 1 dot column equal to table 2 dot column. The visual explanation here shows us that the left outer join would return all the records from table 1 and only those records from table 2 which intersect table 1. So we'll, today we'll be taking a look at an example where we'll join the tables of department and employee on the department ID and we'll apply a left outer join between the two. So firstly let's take a look at the data present in the employees uh, employees source table and the department source table. So let's go to SQL Assistant and <clears throat> connect to the ODBC connection test one that we've created earlier. Connect to the ODBC connection test one. Yeah. Here we'll connect using the HR username and HR password. So select steric from employees and select steric from departments. So let's execute the first statement and take a look at the data present in the employees table. Here we have 107 rows and if we see that we have the employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, hire day, join ID, salary, manager's ID and department's ID. So if we sort it on department's ID, we can see that there is uh, department IDs have null, 10, 20, 30, up to 100 or 110 values. So if we see the data present in the department's table, so we can see that there are, <clears throat> yeah, we can see that there are 27 rows and have department IDs much more than the ones that are present in <clears throat> the employees table, such as 200, 210, 270, etc. So what will happen if we left uh, join both these tables? So let's see what happens. <clears throat> and let's type in the select steric from departments select so strike from departments d left outer join employees e on d dot employee id uh, d dot departments id equal to e dot department id Okay, so let's execute this. And here we can see that 122 rows were returned. And if we sort them based on the department ID, <clears throat> then we'll be able to see that there is no value for the null department ID. And there are other values for 200, 270, etc. with lots of null columns ahead. These null columns represent the data in the employees table, which wasn't present in the employees table, therefore the null values. So let's uh, go to the target database and create a new target for our Informatica mapping, where we need to add another column to the employees table, which is the department name. So let's connect to the test one ODPC connection with the username target and the password target as well. Here let's get the definition of the employees table and add another new column named department name 
with the data type of varchar 50 and let's na rename the table to employees underscore join let's execute this and yeah the new table has been created so let's move on to the power center designer and create the mapping for this joiner implementation connect to the infra training repository <clears throat> yeah connect to the infra training repository with the username administrator and password oracle okay yeah now connect open the trainings folder and let's create a new mapping and give it the name of m underscore employees underscore employees underscore join click ok and let's bring in the sources that we have the departments and the employees table let's drag and drop them over here the departments table first and then the employees table now we need to bring in the <coughs> target table that we just created the employees join table from the target database so let's go to the target designer and import from database click connect and select the join table click ok now let's bring this to the mapping drag and drop it okay now we need to add the joiner transformation <coughs> select joiner transformation and click it in the workplace okay here first let's bring in all the columns from the employees table to the joiner and department ID and department name columns from the department table as we don't need the rest of the columns so bring, bring this to the joiner now double click on the joiner to okay rename it JNR underscore employee go to the conditions add a new one and here we connect the master's department ID to the details table department ID the master table here is defined as the department's table because it is the <coughs> smaller table uh, and we use the smaller table as master table. So let's go to the properties and in the join type let's select the detail outer join. This over here represents the left outer join. So because the detail table is the employees table. So let's click apply and then OK. Now we shall auto link the columns for the target table. So let's auto link them and there you go. All the columns have been populated for the target table. Arrange all of this <coughs> so we have a better visibility. And in this mapping, we're transferring data from the employees table and the departments table, joining them using the joiner transformation and sending it to the target table. So let's save our work. And here we can see that the mapping has been validated. Now we need to go to the workflow manager to create the session and the workflow for this mapping. Let's create a new workflow named WF underscore employees underscore employees underscore join. Let's create a new session <coughs> for the mapping that we just created. Okay, select the mapping, click OK, and connect the start of the workflow to the session. Now arrange them horizontally. And let's edit the properties of the session. 
Firstly, Rustly, let's rename it and remove the M underscore for naming convention purposes and select the fail point of task first property. Next, go to the properties tab and here select the right backward compatibility session log. Also, we need to select set the source and target database connections. So for the source uh, variable, select the HR database and for the target database connection, select the target database. Now in the config objects, select the set the number five as save session log run properties and say, show and stop on error as one. Next we move over to the mappings tab and here we'll set the connection values for the sources and targets. So for the source table, set the connection value as dollar source connection variable. Nothing else to be set here. And for the second source, set the same data connection as dollar source. Now moving on to the target, we'll set the connection value as dollar target. We'll use the normal data load type and select the truncate table option. Click apply and then OK. Now let's save, let's validate your work first. <coughs> it's valid and save it. And now let's run the work. It's running. It should have 122 rows. Exactly, 122 rows have been sent to the target. So let's take a look at the session log of the map of the session. Here we'll be able to see how many rows were taken from the one of the tables, which was 27, and from the employees table 107 rows, and 122 rows were loaded in the target table. So 122 rows applied. So let's take a look at the target table and see the data present in it. So let's go to go over here and select steric from employees underscore join. <coughs> Execute this. And here you have it. The same result that we got earlier from running the SQL query. And we have all the data with these null values for the employees table. So now we know how to use the left outer join, which is represented as detailed outer join in the Informatica designer. So all the rows from departments table are represented with all the matching rows for the employees table. And where there are no matches, there are null values represented for the employees data. So in the next video, we'll take a look at the full outer join. Till then, stay with us. And thank you so much. Bye bye.